Wipe coding is a very trendy topic and I personally love it because it gives me the power to convert the ideas and the imaginations that I have in mind into clickable prototypes or sometime into real functional application in less than few hours with minimum effort and without having to know coding. Although this might sound fun, I have to admit that in so many cases I felt very frustrated using AI to do the wipe coding, mainly because in so many cases, the results that I got from AI weren't accurate at all. And sometimes even the AI generate me the code with a lot of bugs and errors that solving those errors were a very complex process because each time I tried to solve one of those errors using the AI, I ended up having more errors, which were a very frustrating process. In today's video, I would like to show you a couple of tricks and ways which will help you to increase the quality of the results that you are getting from AI within the Figma Make by providing a better and higher quality context of what you exactly want the model to generate. Of course, the first thing is our prompt. If we want to get a better result, we need to explain what we want in a better way in our prompt. So everything should be clear. AI models are getting more powerful, so even with a simple prompt, I guess we can get some sort of accurate result from AI. Here in this example, I'm asking if we can make to generate me a page which has a list of teasers in the right side and a filter menu in the left side. Less than a minute I get this result. I have the teasers in the right side and the filter menu in the left side. And the filter menu is actually working so I can filter out the items based on the filtering items that exist within the menu. We can continue giving more context to our AI using the prompt. For example, in this case, I'm adding a primary color into my UI by asking the Figma Make to change the primary color to blue, which actually works. And you can see some blue color as a primary color in my UI. The next way is to create one design library with all variables and stylings within it. Export that library from the Figma design file and then attach it to our project in the Figma Make. Figma Make is going to ask us automatically to rewrite the styles that has been used in our UI based on what we have in the library. I have made a full video in which you can find other ways to create more accurate results using the AI within the Figma Make, including adding frame into the chat, using the guideline file within the code in order to give more context of what you have in your design system. Get sure to watch that video in my YouTube channel. You can find the link to my YouTube channel in the bio.